Let's build Unreal Engine from the source code. It's easy. You're going to need around 300 gigabytes of space. You'll also need a lot of time and be sure to already have a GitHub account and an Epic Games account already connected because we're not going to go over that in the video. First thing that you want to do is head over to visualstudio.microsoft.com and download the community version, whatever the latest version is. It's free. Uh, just also make sure that you have the, com the recommended or the required components that Epic Games requires. Or if you already have Visual Studio Community already installed, what you want to do is open up the Visual Studio installer, go over to where it says mo click modify, and under workloads, you want to choose, uh, just make sure that you have the games development with C++ selected. If not, be sure to install that also, but you go also go over over to individual components and make sure that these components are installed. Now head over to GitHub. If you don't already have an Epic Games account, you can click sign up and go over through that and go over to that process. Be sure that your GitHub and your Epic Games account is connected. Also, where it says you see where it says Unreal. You will not see that because you need to request access to that. And in order to get access to that, you will need to have those two con accounts connected. Once you are here, you will see where it says releases. You want to click release and choose whatever the latest version or whatever version of Unreal Engine that you are looking for. As you can see here, these are the instructions. So if this video doesn't help you, can you can always go there. Once you choose your version of Unreal Engine, the latest version, you want to click where it says code and a drop down menu is going to pop up and then you want to download the zip. What I like to do is right click and download. Now this is going to be a very huge download. It's probably going to be a little over a half a gigabyte. So once that is finished downloading, you want to extract that into a folder. Don't do what I did. I actually extracted this into the Epic Games or the Unreal Engine folder in the C drive in the programs folder. Don't do that because uh, I had problems. I was able to make it work, but I had to keep running it as an administrator. Once you get to this folder, uh, you go to that source folder. You want to right click. And where it says setup, right click and open that. That's going to download all of the dependencies. You're going to need that. This is going to take some time and it's going to take a lot of space as well. That is normal. After that is downloaded, what you want to do where it says generate project files, you want to do the same. You want to click, you want to right click that and open and pretty much do the same. Open it and it is going to generate the project files. Uh, this will take some time, maybe not as long, but after that, after it generates all the project files, it's going to, you're going to see a solution. There's going to be a Visual Studio solution code or a file. It should be named .sln. That is the solution. Again, it is normal. Uh, this is going to take a long time. It's going to take a, it's going to take a, a few hours to do this entire process. I was able to get this to work because I was, uh, I needed permissions because it was in my programs folder. So I was right clicking and running as an, as an administrator, but you don't have to do that if you install this into another folder. Now, as you can see, uh, you want to right click and run UE5.SLN, and that is your solution. And that is going to open up Visual Studio. Once that is open, what you want to do where it says development right there, you want to choose and make sure that is on development editor. 
and also where it says Win64 on my screen, just make sure it says Win64 on yours. After that, on the left side of the screen, under Engine, you will see UE5. You want to right-click that and click Build. And this is going to take a very, 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 very long time. Once that's done, you want to go back into that folder, go into where it says Engine, and under binaries, go under binaries. And go under Win64. You want to scroll down to where it says Unreal Editor. And you want to open that up. And there you go. That is your... Unreal Engine built from the source. Now, when you open this up, it is because it's, a, it's the first time it's going to take. It's going to take a while and that's normal. So once it's done doing it, doing its thing, it's going to open up the Unreal Project Browser and then you can choose and a project or make a new project and then once that project is done loading you will have a fresh development build of Unreal Engine with the latest features. Now again you're going to need around 300 gigabytes you're going to need a long time I actually did this overnight. I left my computer on because it was just taking too much time. And again, don't make the mistake that I did uh, by uh, installing this into a directory where you need permissions. It's just easier to just install it into a directory where you don't need permissions. You can also go into that folder and write, I'm, I'm running Windows 11. Uh, you can right click that editor and add it to your your start menu pin it to your start menu so you don't have to go into that folder